Okay, it is March 28th, 2023, and uh, we are in the car, heading from uh, just north of Orlando, uh, DeBerry area, to the Sun and Fun. And I've elected this year not to fly into Sun and Fun. It, you know, I I wouldn't even even consider flying into Sun and Fun without somebody with you in the cockpit to be your eyes outside. You're focusing on following the plane in front of you and your passenger or co-pilot is focusing on watching the planes around you because it is an absolute S-H-I-T show. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. So today we're gonna drive and get some good uh, video of the booths and the show and the activities. And my hope is to get this up on YouTube ASAP. I would like to get it up before Sun and Fun is over. So we're heading to Lakeland today and uh, come along with me and let's, uh, let's check out Sun and Fun 2023. Okay, I'm walking into Sun and Fun. Um, you might ask me why not fly the plane in here. Well, a couple reasons. Number one, I'm on my own. I'm alone. And uh, trying to fly into these, this arrival, or any arrival for that matter, any fly-in arrival, it's challenging. And you really need two sets of eyes. So that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm here. The other thing is, I feel an obligation to you my viewers as someone who's within you know an hour and a half of this thing to get here ASAP and get some good uh, material get some good good film so here we are and uh, we're about to walk into Sun and Fun there's the main entrance right there come on along let's check it out We got our wristband program, and as is typical, uh, I'm gonna head right out to the flight line. That's where I will find Cirrus. And although I could ride, I'm gonna walk because I need to get my exercise today. And uh, this is uh, kind of a double double whammy. I get to film for Quantum Fly, film for the channel, show you the very first day of Sun and Fun 2023. Kind of do my best to get this posted ASAP so you guys can see it before it ends. But uh, first stop's gonna be good old Cirrus aircraft. I'm wearing my shirt. Got my Cirrus shirt on today. Got this from Knoxville. And if you uh, wanna check out on the previous post, my flight into Knoxville is there where I picked up a shirt like this for me. And another one for Vern. Okay, it is the main drag. Uh, Sun and Fun 2023. A lot of vendors out here. Everywhere. And uh, it's a warm day today. But this being the first day of Sun and Fun might be the best day to come. Because it's not as busy. It's easy to get in. Parking was simple, and, uh, and this is if you're driving and not if you're flying in. But uh, we've flown into this before, and it's 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 quite a 
quite an experience. And if you are flying in, I strongly recommend you do a multi-day because you just can't see all this in a day and f just flying in, adding to that. Even if you're in the state of Florida, it's a lot of work getting in here in your plane. So, you know, give yourself a couple of days to enjoy it and really see all the the the, um, the booths you see here. We got some helicopters back here and all kinds of stuff. It looks like we've got uh, a little ultralight here on this side, a little light sport aircraft. And I'm looking for the Cirrus booths, which should be down here if I've got it figured out right. So cross your fingers. Yeah, as Vernon and I said last year, there's just nothing like a wacko. <laughs> wacko, wacko, wacko aircraft, wacko. Uh, these are just, I just think these are cool looking planes. That's just my opinion. Just kind of neat looking, kind of throwback old school. Uh, but uh, beautifully built. It's a nice uh, gold leaf inlaid in the paint. And just a really neat looking plane in my opinion. Uh, definitely a weekend fun time uh, aircraft. But uh, really neat the way that they've sort of reached back and maintained that old school uh you know customization and quality just just a really cool looking plane very good to see one they're always on the same corner by the way they were here <clears throat> there's another up-and-comer technum uh, aircraft they really got some great uh, products out there they're sort of like a throwback to they got a great 172 sort of copy but uh, they've kind of smoothed out the lines on it made it more of a modern plane they're big into the Rotax uh, engine equipment, and um, you know that's that's kind of been their thing. Boy, every year I come here, some really good stuff and uh, really quality uh, equipment here at Technum. So if the time comes to move on from the Cirrus, there's a pretty good likelihood I might look at this thing right here, Piper M600 Turbine. And of course, we all know how Vern feels about turbine aircraft. He's graduated now from turbines to jets uh, or turbo fans, uh, but uh, really great, great aircraft. Uh, the good old Piper M600, also known as the previous, the previous versions, they called it the Meridian. I think M stands for Meridian, but uh, turbine, pressurized, pretty fast plane. And for the money, probably pound for pound, a really good value for, you know, the speed, uh, the accessibility to a wide variety of locations um, and, and sort of the, you know, the, the economy of a, of a GA aircraft. So this is, this is a good one. You fly at the flight levels and uh, so it's very cost effective uh, at those levels, obviously. Uh, but... If I unload the Cirrus, this, this might be a good option, a next step. Okay, this is this is really the fun part here. This is, uh, now we're into, now we're into the Warbird area. And it looks like the Geico Skyriders are about to start over there. And just at one not everything's here yet, interestingly. I haven't been here the first day, but you've got all the uh, all the aircraft here, all your Warbird aircraft. I am one of their social media marketers, and I have the absolute privilege of managing the restoration of our Tuesday's airplane, which is a 170 That's amazing. So this week's tell me we are at our booth. Okay, today. the uh, are Aeroshell airplane team airplane just took off. So Might be a little bit of background noise there, uh, but they're about to start their air show. It is currently right at about one eight minutes past one o'clock in the afternoon. Sun is high. Boy, it's getting hot out here. I'm gonna go look for some shade. But uh, let's go back toward the uh, 
Let's go back and see if we can't find this elusive cirrus tent. They moved it. They were usually out here last year on the uh, on the grounds of the, the warbirds, and they're not here to this year. So I got to go look for them. I know they're here somewhere. The number one GA aircraft in the world. So they got to be here at Sunif. Let's go see if we can find them. A lot of people probably don't realize how big a Corsair is. I mean, these things are huge, and the flaps. Good grief! They're 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 like work of art. They're big. They're bulky, and you can just tell by looking at this airplane, it's designed to fly slow and drop bombs, <laughs> and that's what it's built for. So, really, really cool plane. But people don't realize. Look how big this thing is. I mean, it's it's a big airplane. You don't realize it until you step up and get close to it. Of course, what would Sun of Fun be without my favorite aircraft, P-51 Mustang? Uh, beautiful, beautiful plane. Uh, beautiful sounding plane. Uh, that big giant 12-cylinder Merlin up behind that cowling. Uh, this is just, this is the beauty that won the war right here, P-51. And there's always a representation here at Sun and Fun. Uh, this one is a beauty. And there goes. There go the T-38 Texans. You can tell that rotary engine compared to this thing. A lot different sounding engine on that plane. But uh, they're headed up to do their show. But uh, love the Warbirds. Love the technology. Doesn't seem like it was very technical back in the day. But well, I'll tell you what, we were so far ahead of the world in technology when it came to aircraft. And that was evident by you know, planes like this. Okay, finally found the Cirrus uh, booth here. And uh, wouldn't you know it, Aeroshell team, wouldn't you know it, they're right behind the diamond booth. Isn't that kind of interesting? So. Here at the top of the of the Cirrus booth, uh, enjoying the air show. Nice breeze here around me, and uh, nice to Cirrus to give us these beautiful little VIP passes. I've already finished my Mick Ultra. Another benefit to driving and not flying, and um, just a very hospitable area for those of us who own. The Mercedes of the sky, the Cirrus SR series, and of course the jet, but can't afford a jet. But the SR22, probably the most popular plane on the planet right now. Great day for an air show. Oh, it's nice to have the air conditioning here in the owner's suite at Cirrus. You can see around me. Uh, there in the back wall. Uh, what a great, what a great benefit to us, Cirrus owners. Uh, we got a got a bar up here and uh, some food out there. I just love. Yeah, what can I say about uh, Cirrus? Yeah, that is outstanding. First of all, Tuesday is the day to come. And the Airbus nobody's here out here on the flight line. Up above, Jim, Brad. I got a front row George, seat. Working so hard to keep us all safe and all our performers too. Still ahead, the race jet team. For that. Kyle is out and Brittany is over there. And are you ready, Brittany? Hey everyone, thank Not you. Not a bad so view. Much. Ladies and gentlemen, 
here at 236 on Tuesday, Son of Fun, 2023. The MFD is way faster, and then the um, there's a couple other just different things like databases and updating databases. Yeah, way easier on the perspective plus. Way easier. Oh yeah, yeah. You're uncoordinated. It's gonna you're gonna start to feel the G forces sway the opposite direction. Yeah. If you're uncoordinated. Yep, yep. And then I even have a view of the side window. Both side window. That's that's just tremendous. Wow. So here we are, we're turning on course. It should tur keep turning and capture. Hopefully. Ah, oh, there it goes. It's gonna be, should it capture, capture, and then it's gonna start coming back and actually turn you in. Okay, yeah, now it's kind of getting to 45. One, flight simulators. Runway one, yep. flight simulators. Really incredible, full motion simulators. And, and really reasonable for the flight school.
Hey, what, five hours at uh, Sun and Fun, it just feels like five minutes. You know, there's so much to do here, there's so much to see. Can't quite see it all, but you know, I did walk through the displays and um, yeah, I just scratched the surface. But uh, I'm gonna try to head toward the gate and get moving before the traffic starts hitting. Again, not too bad if you look around me. Not too bad. Not too many people here today. It's really a good time to come. See the bars filling up here. It's about 4.30 now. The bars starting to fill up. Uh, but doesn't disappoint. A lot cleaner. If you come here, I recommend that you buy your ticket online. So you just show your phone to the, and you can even buy your parking online. So just show them your phone, boom, you go right in. Quick, easy, don't have to wait in the ticket line, just show them your ticket and uh, you're in. They give you your your armband and uh, they definitely cleaned up the process this year. Um, there was a change in management of Sun and Fun. Uh, and so may maybe that has something to do with it, but uh, another great year and I'm glad I got here early because it's it's a pretty good day to be here. I mean, beautiful weather. Sun's out, a few clouds here and there. It's a little warm, but uh, thanks to Cirrus for showing me a good time as a Cirrus VIP. Uh, what, what, a great, what a great arrangement they have. Like I said, I feel very, very fortunate to be a Cirrus owner. Uh, they, they take good care of their owners. You know, pay a lot for these airplanes, so uh, they appreciate it and they understand it. And more importantly, they know that once you've had a Cirrus like me, you're usually going to get another Cirrus, which I did from the SR20 to the 22. So, great day today. Let's see if we can find that exit. Just don't realize how big everything is till you walk up to it. This is just a whole 727. bird here at the entrance to Sun and Fun right here at Lakeland Linder. See if we can check her out. room. Very nice. And then we got, looks like the original seats up here. Pretty cool. Ernie Little Aerospace Classroom. And then you can kind of walk up and see the flight deck. Wow. It's a throwback there. You got your engineer chair, literal three pilot plus a jump seat, all steam gauges, old school.
Okay, we found the exit, and I got a, got a good hour and a half trip back, so I'll try to get out of here before the before too much of the uh, traffic starts wanting to leave. But uh, man, I'll tell you what, you could spend a week here, still not see all the the attractions and the booths and the, and the uh, exhibitors. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. A lot of people passionate about aviation, like me. And uh, like I said, first day, one of the first guys in, you got a sneak peek at Sun of Fun 2023. Stay tuned for our Germany trip, which I'm still working on, and it will be coming up here very, very soon. Uh, I've got, got a little cheater out there on, um, uh, on reels and on Instagram. So uh, kind of give you a feel for what we did there and the full video. We're gonna, we're gonna get this updated so that it's online before uh, Sun of Fun is over. So you can get a kind of a feel for what Sun of Fun 2023 looks like this year. Stay tuned, subscribe and like if you like the channel. Please, uh, it doesn't hurt to subscribe. It does help the Google algorithm if you um, subscribe and like, uh, obviously like the videos. If you do like them, if you don't, don't like them, but um, hope you do. And uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. And that Germany video is coming really soon. See you then.